One of the guys that replaced Mike at the New York Post as a boxing writer uh, to respond. And what George wrote was, um, wish I could be there. God made this guy special. Scribe, publicist, promoter, character. He made boxing better. Rest in peace, Mike. Condolences from Miami. The first time I ever met Marley, it was, I think it was like 1989. It was still the 80s. I just started working at HBO. I was a young executive at HBO, and I was filling my oats. Now I could get in to drink at Elaine's. Now I actually yeah. had a career. So I could get into Elaine's. And I, uh, I went to Elaine's right one night. I had a couple of martinis. I was sitting around with a couple of guys from HBO. Next table was Gay Talese with a bunch of other writers, like very civilized guys dressed in the tees. And then I turn around and I hear this loud racket. And there's this fucking guy on a table with his tie over, over around his head, dancing with a girl who's dancing on a chair. And she definitely looked like she was of questionable repute. And, um, That's my man. And, 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 and like this Motown playing, Mo Marley's dancing. Elaine comes up, grabs Marley by the tie around his head, pulls him off the chair, throws him out the place. So as I'm leaving that night, I'm leaving the place that night, and I, I, I well, say... it wasn't well, the first time. Well, <laughs> no, no, you, you took my punchline, but as I'm walking out of the place, I say to Elaine, who is that bad man? And she said, that's the boxing writer for the New York Post, Marley. I've thrown him out of here 31 times. <laughs> and then she says, but I've let him in 32. <laughs> and, and basically, Marley would continue to get thrown out of the lanes every time he was there, almost, until they closed the lanes. Uh, but actually, Elaine loved Marley. Um, what made Marley so different? Uh, Marley was a storyteller. You know, Marley was, a, and, and I met Marley. He was the post writer, but then shortly after that, he started working for King. And then we tossed Don King out of HBO. So Marley was pretty loyal to the guy that was employing him. So I always had a peculiar relationship. We were friends. We humored each other. But for a long time, we were on different sort of sides of the street. But we became better friends over the course of years through Jay and Alan. And, everybody else we mutually hung out with. And I think Marley and I made each other laugh, so that was a prerequisite to him for friendship. But I mean, it was important to him if you could make him laugh, and he could make you laugh. But um, I'll, I'll ever, forever remember him. Oh, actually, when he started working for King, too, it was a perfect time for Marley, because King had all these Mexican champions, like Julio Cesar Chavez, and who was like the, the little, who was the tiny guy? Oh, Jeff. Lopez. oh yeah, Benito. Ricardo Lopez, with you, oh, yeah. Lopez. Yeah. And, they would all wear like bandanas. So for like 10 years, I never saw Marley without the bandana or, or conversely, if he was drunk, the tie around his head. So uh, I have to drive back tonight, so I'm gonna wait till I get home to have the finishing touches on, on going to sleep with a buzz, but I'm gonna go to sleep with a buzz and put a fucking tie around my head in honor of my girlfriend.